<laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. The expression on nine-year-old Jeremy Seacott's face said it all. What was your reaction? <gasps> and now, just a few weeks after getting his first prosthetic arm. Then, when you bend your elbow, it pulls the strings back and then it makes a, a fist pose. The third grader is mastering the little things, like picking something up off a table or even shaking someone's hand. Just doing things that we take for granted, I think, was really cool. Seacott was born missing part of his right arm, and while he has no trouble showing off his favorite dance moves without it, he says the new addition has made life a little better. Feels like I just got an upgrade. Jeremy's mom says that upgrade came courtesy of Michael Perina, who owns Assemble 3D on Staten Island. He's partnered with Enable, an organization that connects volunteers using 3D printers with people who need prosthetics and provides the blueprint for making them. It's honestly, it's my favorite project in, that I've ever done. Printing out all of the parts for Jeremy's new prosthetic arm took about 20 hours. Jeremy ended up with not one, but two. This one custom painted to match his skin tone, the other modeled after his favorite Transformers character, Optimus Prime. Perina provided them free of charge. What's wonderful that he, you know, has such a great heart and is able to do this and now able to help other people. I think it's, it's amazing. If you could just 3D print whatever you want, then what do you print? You just you print so many things. And then when you really print something like this, that, that functioning and actually affects somebody's life, and now they're like, oh, this is awesome. Like, that's it's just amazing. Perina says more will soon be in the works. On Staten Island, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.